member for Nanaimo Ladysmith. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I had the great honor of meeting pilgrims, modern day pilgrims coming from the faith community across Canada, young people, people well into their 80s who've been walking for days, members of the Mennonite church, uh, young activists who are expressing themselves from their church in a way that I've never seen before. And the cause that they had taken up in the spirit of the calls to action in the Truth and Reconciliation Commission was to urge this government and this parliament to adopt Bill C-262, the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People. It was such a beautiful marrying of faith and activism and con commitment to improving the country and to Indigenous reconciliation and to our parliamentary process. To see protest signs with a bill number on it is just not something you see every day. And it was the bill that was uh, advanced by my New Democrat colleague, Member of Parliament, for Abitibi Bay James Nunavik EU. I'm so honored to have been uh, at greeting that, that final pilgrimage coming into Ottawa, and I'm so grateful to be uh, uh, at the service of the people of Nanaimo, Lady Smith in Coast Salish territory, uh, representing that riding at this time in Parliament, because this is a historic day. Uh, my colleague, uh, said so powerfully in his uh, opening statement this, this afternoon, uh, no reconciliation in the absence of justice. He reminded us that UNDRIP has been reaffirmed eight times by the United Nations, by consensus. Uh, he reminded us no state in the world opposes UNDRIP, and that also even the Harper Conservatives in 2010 actually acceded to UNDRIP. Um, and so it is well past time. Uh, the framework for UNDRIP uh, is the framework for reconciliation for Canada. And it was used by Justice Sinclair uh, in the Truth and Reconciliation Commission as the framework for the report. Um, and in turn, Bill C-262 responds directly to the calls to action in the TRC report, uh, specifically uh, calls to action 43 and 44. I'm uh, reminded of the words of my uh, friend and colleague uh, from Sinemo, uh, former Sinemo chief, uh, Doug White III, uh, Kowalczyton is his Kosalish name, his Hulkaminum name. Uh, he says, quote, to those of us personally and intimately engaged in the struggle for justice for Indigenous people, one can sense that while the work remains fierce and intense, there is momentum building toward potential breakthroughs. He says, quote, Canadians are far more aware of our history of colonialism and the required work of reconciliation. I'm hopeful that in 2018, Canadians will not succumb to voices that are intent on looking backwards and maintaining what has been. The reality of what has been for Indigenous people is nothing to be preserved, end quote. And he urges specifically endorsement of UNDRIP and of my colleagues' bill, C-262. Uh, I... Um, I ask this parliament, do we need this bill, given that the government has acceded to the UN treaty? And I say, yes, we do. Uh, the UNDRIP uh, Article 18 uh, calls on governments uh, to, to recognize Indigenous people have the right to participate in decision-making in matters which would affect their rights through representatives chosen by themselves in accordance with their own procedures. And yet this government has approved the Kinder Morgan pipeline and its attendant oil tanker traffic uh, running through the waters of the Salish Sea through my riding, the riding that I represent. Uh, the hypocrisy to say we believe that communities should control their own destiny and we believe in the nation-to-nation -nation relationship and then to run roughshod over democracy and those, and those promises uh, tells us that we need, uh, we need this bill and we need to legislate commitment to UNDRIP. The fact that uh, despite Article 22, Article 21, which specifically point to the ending of violence against women and children and the particular role of women in our democracy, Indigenous women, this government passed Bill S3, which specifically chose to, to enshrine, remain, uh, to discriminate against uh, the rights of some Indigenous women in the Indian Act over the urging and the voices of the six women, the famous six, 
who had fought for 40 years the Supreme Court and fully expected this government, given its feminist agenda and its commitment to nation-to-nation -nation relationship, to do better. And so, yes, we do need this bill. I am so honored to serve with this member. The generosity of spirit that he is offering to this country, especially given his own family's personal history with, re with residential school, is an extremely generous gift. And I urge this whole House in its entirety to vote uh, together in consensus to move our country forward.